evaluate the indefinite integral. Here we have the integral cosine x divided by sine squared x dx. So we need to determine what can we substitute for u. Okay, so one option, okay, is being able to look at this and say, okay, well, I have sine squared x. It might be better to let u equal the sine of x, and we'll see why. Now, sometimes you may have to go through this question just to see what happens when you determine what u should be. But in this particular scenario, we're going to let u equal the sine of x. So now we're going to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So du is going to equal, well, what's the derivative of the sine of x? Well, the derivative of the sine of x is cosine x dx. Okay, so if you notice up here, we have cosine x dx. So that tells us that we actually pick the right substitution. But sometimes you just want to check to see what's happening here. So now we see that. Step number three, let's go ahead and then rewrite this in terms of 1 over the sine x. Now remember that is squared. So that means the same thing as what that is. And then we have times the cosine x dx. Now we're going to go ahead and use the substitution. Okay, so this is going to be 1 over, well we let u equal the sine of x, so therefore it's going to be 1 over u squared. And then we know that the cosine of x dx is du. And so therefore there's du. Okay, so now we want to find the antiderivative. Before we do, okay, we need to simplify that u 1 over u squared to be u to the negative 2 power du. So now we've got to find the antiderivative. Remember the antiderivative is taking negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1 plus c. So we have u to the negative 1 power over negative 1 plus c. So that's the same thing as saying this entire thing is negative and then u to the negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over u plus c. And so what do we substitute u to be at the beginning? We said sine of x. So therefore we have negative 1 over the sine of x plus c, and therefore there is our result.